Mohamed Diaby. I'm the founder of Walea, which is a venture building company. And what are the different things, Mohamed, that Walea does? We're just creating companies for ourselves and for other brands. And we have a portfolio of four companies in the group. One which is doing consulting, another one which is social, which is a digital agency. We have an innovation hub and we have an events agency. Tell me about the digital agency. Okay, the digital agency is just helping uh, brands and companies in Western Central Africa uh, market their presence online. It's doing things like social media marketing. Yeah, social media, interactive marketing. And who are the clients? Uh, most of our clients are from mo the mobile telecommunication sector and the public sector. And what's the total spend on digital amongst those? Oh, clients? I think that it's less than 5%. It's of tiny. Uh, yes, yeah, tiny. Less than 5% of their whole budget in marketing communication. But is that growing? I hope it's going to grow. <laughs> We're expecting to have something around, let's say, 10% before the end of the year. You've also organized an event which has just happened. A week yeah. or so ago, called Digital Week. What was that? Okay, Digital Week was uh, a whole week dedicated to uh, digital economy, with hackathons, uh, uh, a marketplace, a conference, and uh, let's say uh, some events that may help people understand what is digital economy, what are the leaders, and what is the global conversation about digital economy. And how many people attended the conference? Oh, 500 people per day regarding the conference and more regarding the marketplace. And it had it had um, event an event where startups could present ideas and, and brainstorm ideas. Yeah we had a hackathons with the um, electricity company here and the, the challenge was for young innovators to propose the new services and the products that may be released in the upcoming ten years. And so tell me about W Hub. What is W Hub? Okay, W is our innovation hub, uh, a new social space for young entrepreneurs in Cote d'Ivoire. And we're just mentoring and helping them uh, frame their ideas into uh, innovative projects and start something that may soon be released at products and services for the market. And what's the biggest barrier for startups at the moment? The first barrier is not funding. The first barrier is just the whole understanding of the market and the challenges, the kind of products and services they may release, and then funding. Yes. And why is it that funding is such a difficult thing in Francophone Africa? Uh, maybe because uh, most of the time no one is really looking at the opportunities of the market. People are looking at English-speaking countries. And second point is maybe because there is no there's no regular report about the activity on the ground who's doing what what are the opportunities what kind of challenges and what could be uh, a big opportunity for an angel investor to come and fund some projects locally have you found um, individual angels here willing to get involved not yet not right. yet i think that for the moment on the ground nobody's really funding project okay and What's your next activity? What are you going to be doing next? Uh, I think the, the, the next challenge will be uh, to create an investment fund to fund local uh, local businesses. A sort of startup seed fund. Yeah, startup seed fund. So we're for the moment looking at some crowdfunding opportunity, but the, this is the next challenge. Yes. Because we have more than 20 million people, so a huge market yes. that can be used regarding digital marketing and digital economy. And give me a couple of examples of startups that have done well in Abidjan. Okay, one of the examples is a startup called PDS Store, which is an e-commerce platform selling devices, smartphones, things like that. Another one is uh, ICT for Dev, which recently released two amazing projects. First one for uh, birthday, uh, registering birthdays through the mobile phone, and the second one is a marketplace for agriculture. And when you look across Francophone Africa, where do you think the most developed startup ecosystem is? I think it's Cote d'Ivoire, of course. Uh, maybe because we have, uh, I think we have uh, great history regarding the infrastructure. Okay, uh, 
the first mobile company here I started in 1996. Uh, the first uh, wireless internet uh, operator started in 1999. So uh, people are already used to, to the web. Now it's time to shift from being regular users to customers of products and services. And how big is, do you think, that potential? Uh, I think as big as countries like France, depending how you think that people will be interested in spending the money online rather than using the traditional market. And you were saying earlier it would be perfectly possible to be paying for all sorts of different things online. Yeah, yeah. The, I think that Code can also be a kind of offshoring place uh, to develop innovation that might, that might be used in other countries that can be in Europe or America.